Set up for downward facing dog pose by kneeling on all fours and with your hands a few inches forward of your shoulders and about shoulder width apart. Spread your fingers and firmly press the ball of your thumb and index fingers to the mat. Breathing in, lift your knees and breathing out, come up onto the balls of your feet. Only straighten your knees about halfway and spread them a little wider than hip width. That will help you lift your sit bones and stretch your hips more. Keep your head between your arms and push the hips towards the rear of your mat. If you can keep your sit bones fixed, begin to straighten your knees. Do this slowly and patiently. They may not straighten at all. If they do straighten, Send your heels back and down. But it's very important that you work at your own pace. Keep your breath steady. And notice how this inverted pose helps you to breathe out fully and completely. Keep the pose active. Heels push back, arms push the floor away. To come out of downward dog, come slowly back to your knees and sit up on your heels. Begin this cobra flow sitting on your heels. Then bend forward and walk your arms forward until you can rest your head on the floor between your arms. Keep your hips over your knees to maximize the stretch in your upper back. Stay with this wonderful back opener, letting your steady breath slowly undo tension in your muscles. Continue to keep the arms flowing forward and feel the weight of your chest dropping closer and closer to the floor. You may even be able to rest on your chin. Notice how the longer you stay with this, the more your muscles relax. Give yourself the time to really undo this tension, to slow down. You can feel your body wants to. Now press your hands to the floor. And rounding your lower back, Come up onto hands and knees, shifting your weight forward, then lowering your hips and lifting your chest to wide cobra pose. Pull your abdomen gently in and up and strongly lift your chest. Gaze slightly down and breathe steadily, keeping your inhalations and exhalations equal. Now rest on the floor and reposition your hands under your shoulders, moving them slightly forward if your back feels stiff. Root the feet and leading with the head, breathe in, curling up to classic cobra pose. Bring your side ribs forward and lift the chest, pushing with your arms to help roll the shoulders back. Now push back to child pose, resting here for a few breaths 
to relax. Your spine will enjoy moving from the forward bend to the back bend and it will increase your flexibility. Now, walk your hands forward and lie face down on your mat. And stretch your arms forward with your palms turned in, pointing the toes. Keeping your hands on the floor, inhale, curling your head and chest up into a back bend. Your hands may be pulled slightly toward the mat by this action. Each breath in, expand and lift the chest. Each breath out, draw the lower abdomen slightly in and up. Use this action to raise your rib cage off the floor if possible. Continuing to breathe is critical. Release and rest in crocodile pose, head on hands. Steady the breath. Now extend your arms forward again. The arms stay active throughout the pose. Root the feet. And inhaling, curl your head and chest up again to the back bend. The exhalation draws the belly in and up, bringing the ribs off the mat if possible. Plant your feet. Press down with your tailbone and breathing in, stretch your arms strongly up, raising them as high up off the floor as you can. The key to this strong pose is to keep breathing and keep moving. Each exhalation draws the belly in and up and actively stretches your arms. Inhale and rest again in crocodile pose. Let's do that again. Stretch your arms forward, palms in. Breathing in, curl your head and chest up to a back bend. Breathing out, draw your belly in and up. Root the feet, root the tail. Breathe in, stretch the arms forward. Breathe out, raise the arms up, off the floor as high as they'll go. Try to lift the chest even more. and rest. Listen to your breathing, extending the out breath so that it is equal to the inhalation. One more cobra pose, positioning the hands under the shoulders or slightly forward. Breathe in and curl your head and chest up holding this position without your hands. Pause and try to deepen the arch in your upper back further. And now push the floor away, coming higher into your back bend until your arms are almost, but not quite straight. Push the floor to roll your shoulders back, bringing your elbows as straight as possible. Breathe, feeling the wonderful openness of your chest. And then breathe in, push back to child pose. And breathing out, settle into this deep rest. And then coming up to sit on your heels.
for child pose, sit on your heels with your knees about hip width apart. If sitting on your heels is not comfortable, you can support your hips on a block instead. Now lean forward, resting on your hands. And if possible, walk your hands far enough forward that you rest on your thighs with your head on the floor. You may need to modify that position. You can rest your head on your arms or even stay leaning on your hands. The key is to push your hips as close to your heels as possible. Another option is to rest your elbows on the floor and your head in your hands. In whatever position you choose, close your eyes, relax your belly, and feel the soothing rhythm of your breath as it moves gently in and out of your belly. Perhaps you can feel this in your back body. Child pose creates a soothing massage for the belly organs as well as the lower back muscles. It has a calming, sedative effect upon the mind. Focus on the quality of your torso resting on your thighs. This promotes a feeling of release, a surrender, allowing you to fold in on yourself and focus your attention deep inside. It's a calming and refreshing pose at the same time. To come out of child pose, breathing in, round your back, and breathing out as you come back to sit on your heels. Quarter dog is one of my favorite poses. It's the quickest way I know to squeeze tension out of the upper back. beginning to relax your upper back muscles. You can press your chest slightly toward the floor. Take your time with this and resist the urge to spread your elbows. Keeping the elbows in isolates the movement to your upper back and it will feel great. Continue to breathe steadily, letting your whole spine hang from your hips. As you stay, 
the tight muscles in your upper back will begin to unwind, allowing you to adjust. It's possible to rest your chin on the floor and bring the chest even closer to the mat. But keep those elbows in and continue to breathe well, especially focusing on exhaling. Now slowly lower your arms to the floor and push yourself back, hips to heels, to child pose. <laughs> 